one in eight of us will have breast cancer. The most common treatment for breast cancer is tamoxifen therapy. However, despite successful initial response to this therapy, the majority of the patients will have cancer recurrence. Not only will the cancer come back, it will be more aggressive and deadlier than the one you had before. If this is happening to you or your loved ones, what are you going to do? The first thing that comes into most people's mind is, well, increase the dose of the treatment so you can kill all the cancer cells in your body, right? But the answer is, absolutely not. Because these cancer cells that come back are now resistant to tamoxifen. So increasing the dose of this treatment will not kill these cancer cells. Instead, the toxicity of this tamoxifen will make your hormone very imbalanced and in some severe cases can result in endometrial or uterine cancer. Unfortunately, there is no good solution to this problem. So this is where my project comes in, to find a way to successfully kill these cancer cells that come back. And during my studies, I noticed that this cancer cell that come back uniquely expressed this protein called PAD2 that I cannot find it in the normal cells. And this protein, the majority of the researchers in the field have never even heard of this protein before. So this finding is already novel on its own. So now, to test whether PAD2 is involved in tumor growth, I took this PAD2 expressing breast cancer cells and grew them in 3D culture. The single cells can divide and proliferate and grow it into a large tumor colony like you can see on the top left side of my slide. But when I delete PAD2, I can successfully inhibit this tumor colony growth. But of course I cannot do gene deletion in patient, right? So I need an inhibitor that can target PAD2. So our lab and our collaborator generated a successful PAD inhibitor. Now, when I take the tamoxifen resistant breast cancer cells and treat them with our PAD inhibitor, in just two days, I can kill the majority of these breast cancer cells. And what's great about these drugs is, it absolutely does nothing to your normal cells. Even if I increase the dose of this drug to 10 times the dose that kills the cancer cells, it still does not do anything to your normal cells. So that means this drug is specific at killing these cancer cells without affecting your normal cells. So this is the solution to our problem. No one should experience cancer twice, and my research will help to make sure of that. Thank you.